That's a look at the paces. We had uh, some very, very nice trotters to understate it a lot competing over the weekend. We're going to take you firstly to Addington where Ambro Demon made her first start for Phil Williamson. Global invasion and then came Paint the Moon who got strong up when Badu Bai stopped in front of it. 10 has gone for a gallop coming up to the last turn. He was making some ground, had work to do. 29 for the third quarter. Ambro Demon's in front but they're coming from everywhere. Live the dream, Global Invasion. Paint the Moon's coming up on the Ice Bloods Dog Express Lane. Ambro Demon still lifting. Live the dream, Global Invasion. It's still Ambro Demon. She saw them coming, gave them a chance and then got away again. Gee, she's a nice horse. Ambro Demon beat Global Invasion and live the dream. I'm a gold digger, 400 metres left to go in the cup and it is quality invasion by a length and a half. Down the outside we've got Tenason here in the clear now, comes I Can Do's It. Over on the inside next is Clover Don, back behind them would be Vulcan and further out on the track is I'm a gold digger. Still it is quality invasion at the 150, I Can Do's It is trying to rally. On the inside Clover Don and Vulcan out of the pack late, it's I Can Do's It who's hit the lead now over quality invasion who keeps fighting on the inside. I can do it. The Australasian trotting champion has won. I can do it over quality invasion. The march will be short. Mark, he had no right to win that race. No, he's just an amazing horse, Greg. And uh, the last hundred, it was just sheer heart that got him to the line. Down the back straight, when you started moving around them, Anthony Butts made you go one wider again. Was there any stage where you thought, hmm, I'm in a bit of trouble here? Yes, it was a case of the the two to beat, or two of the three to beat. I thought we were racing one and two at that stage, and we just had to get handy to them at, at some point. And uh, although I'd much rather someone else popped out in front of me, it was just the way it worked out, and that was a clever drive by Anthony. It appears he's had quite a good blow after it, and as you've always been saying, he's going to improve. Yes, that's right. Yeah, he was vulnerable today, but he's just as you know, sheer class and the ability of the horse. He got him through. All right. Where are we thinking, Mark? Is it the same sort of path, Ashburton Flying Mile, Kaikoura? Um, and what about Cup Week now that the uh, distance, of course, of the free for alls changed on, on Cup Day? Yeah, look, Greg, he just thrives on the racing and um, the Canterbury Park trotting cups in between there as well. And uh, he's going to have more racing under his belt by the time he gets to the, the Dominion. But, uh, you know, I think he'll thrive all the way through. Pretty keen to win that Dominion because it's the one that got away last season, isn't it? Yes, well, he beat himself last year making a mistake, and um, but no, it's one I haven't been able to, to win, so it'll be nice to be able to do it this year. Pretty solid performance once again, Colin. Yeah, it went good, Greg. He, uh, he began good, but he's a bit of a dummy in front, so I lost the lead. Um, just got lost a wee bit when they sprinted at the top of the straight, and I lost a length, but uh, overall, pretty good. Yep, look, much better than that first up when obviously things didn't actually work out that well for you when he had a gallop, but he's going to be competitive in all of these races, isn't he? Oh, I like to think so, yeah. Um, he's up in the top half a dozen anyways. Well, you certainly got on the back of the right horse. Yeah, got a good run, Greg. He went pretty good, but just probably better than just the last 50 metres. He was, I thought he was going to get second there, sort of 100 out, and just peaked the last bit. But, you know, good run and, you know, all good horses all around him. Yeah, just a little bit older this time round, just that extra run perhaps to get him to his peak? Yeah, possibly, yeah, he's one of those horses, he just, uh, he just gets whacking away, so yeah, he'll he'll be competitive all year, but uh, you know, it's probably our best chance to beat I can do it today, and we couldn't, so uh, it's only going to get harder from here on in. Jim, that was a pretty good run first up. Yeah, it's good, Greg, he didn't, didn't have much luck, we tried to get a wee bit of a gap, but there wasn't going to be much room there, but um, no, he went good, you know, he didn't get much of a go, and he felt good, so that's what we want. Give you a nice feel, and there's plenty of big races coming up that he's going to be com very competitive in once again. Well, well it is, yeah, and like I said, yeah, we were a bit worried about it. we were going to come out at 800, and I probably thought it was a bit hard first up, so yeah. we didn't, and we didn't get a run, so we'll wait. Jim Curtin there and uh, Greg getting the thoughts of many of the drivers at Banks Peninsula. Firstly, Craig heading back to Armbro Demon. First start for Phil Williamson. Uh, we hadn't seen her since Cup Day last year, but she actually sustained uh, a flat tyre during the running two when breaking at the 300. It was an unbelievable performance, wasn't it, Jess? Um, Matthew Williamson took her to the front at about the 600 metre mark, started off the 20 metre handicap. Uh, she had a little bit of a skip around the final bend, Jess was a little bit of a concern, uh, but she just came back trotting and uh, she got away on, from them inside the last 100 metres. It takes a record, I think, now to nine starts, six, ones, uh, six wins. We said last week on the show, she's probably the most exciting horse uh, or trotter, an in, in, intermediate trotter that's uh, coming through the ranks at the moment. And if, if she can stay sound, and there's no reason why she can't, 
Uh, she's going to be very competitive in the top class in uh, upcoming months. Uh, I thought a very, very good uh, performance by Phil Williamson to get it ready on the back of just the one trial at Omaru. Have a look at that tyre. As I say, uh, after the post, Matty had a good look around and uh, good look down and, and uh, it uh, it uh, certainly did a lot of damage uh, to the uh, to the rim and also to the tyre. So good performance by Ambro and Demon Jess. The Ambro Invasion mare, she's an exciting mare and uh, a horse that will follow f uh, right through the Cup week with uh, a lot of interest. Yeah, and hopefully, fingers crossed, as you say, she stays sound and, and goes right throughout the grades and we see her up against the very best. Uh, I can do it. Well, he is an absolute freak, Craig. He had every reason to be beaten and laid down on Sunday, but it's indicative of what a champion he is. What it is, Jess, and what I suggest to you is you'll never, ever get $2.10 on a racetrack on I Can Do's It ever again. I mean, his fresh-up record suggests he probably couldn't win. His trial suggested that he'd probably be a run short, but... Gee, he's just a war horse. And when he got humped four wide uh, down the back, Jess, I thought, well, he can't win this race. He's going to be three wide outside horses that have raced week in, week out for the last couple of weeks. And he just ground them into the dirt inside the last 200 metres. Um, I suggest he's, he's going to have a couple of more runs heading towards the Dominion, but he looks to come back better than ever. And as I say, uh, I thought if he was vulnerable, it was on the grass last week. Uh, he's come through that with flying colours. Uh, he is a super class trotter and uh, an absolute freak. Quality invasion, very good. Another honest performance. I thought Cloverdon, Colin alluded that he probably just lost the length on the last bend. He made it up in the run home. I thought Vulcan was okay. I think he may have just needed that run. But I thought the eye-catching run of the top five outside the winner had to be Dr. Hook. He ran out of room late for uh, Jimmy Curtin. I thought he was finishing off the race very nicely. Paul Nairn must be wrapped with the way he's come up this time up. And uh, yeah, Dr. Hook certainly one to follow out of the race, Jess.